And many times when we face trials or tribulations, we don't understand why they may be happening to us. It may even feel like a test of our faith. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised us in the Quran that we will taste affliction. He says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشَّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ And we will indeed test you of something of fear and hunger, a loss of wealth, lives, and fruits. So give glad tidings to the patient. الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا and those who when affliction befalls them say, Truly we belong to God and to Him we shall return. Now, previously we talked about how the Qur'an is a source of healing in and of itself. And there are many verses and chapters in the Qur'an that we can turn to whenever we feel a sense of affliction. And in the Surah there are examples after examples of prophets who reached out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for support and for help. Take for example Sayyidina Ayyub or the Prophet Job. He says, وَأَيُّوبَ إِذْ نَادَ رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَسَّنِيَ الضُّرُّ وَأَنْتَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ And Job when he cried out and said, Great harm has afflicted me, and you are the most merciful of merciful. And then Allah responds to Sayyidina Ayyub, and he says, فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَكَشَفْنَا مَا بِهِ مِنْ And so we answered him and relieved his suffering. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is listening, and just like he relieved the suffering of Sayyidina Ayyub, he can relieve our suffering and afflictions too. I wonder what verses or chapters of the Qur'an do you turn to for support and help when you are afflicted with something that's difficult? If you want to mind, take a moment and share with us in the chat box below what verses you turn to for support.